Hey data fans, Reed here. Now I know that I've talked about query folding before in Power BI. As a quick recap, query folding is essentially the ability for Power Query to be able to translate the M language, which it has for the applied steps into a, another language that is related to any of the semantic data connections that it's connecting to, such as SQL, Snowflake, etc. Now I do wanna mention that there are some ways that you can break query folding just through some advanced transformations. But I've also discovered the fact that there are some automatic column additions and other from example features built in the Power Query, such as add columns from examples that can actually write code that breaks it. But with a little bit of clever modification, you can actually turn the folding back on through the edits of the formula bar. So I wanna talk through and walk you through some of these gotchas and show you how you can do more intelligent query folding and even outsmart the add column from example code. So to describe to you the client scenario that I had, I essentially had a numerical column and a text column, and I needed to create a composite key in the table in my business scenario with the client just the other day where I needed to combine the two of these together. Now, the easiest way that I found to do these rather than writing my own code is I often find that the add column from examples under add columns up here is the fastest way to do that because it writes the code for you. You would typically select column A, column B, and then add a column from example from those. Now, just to confirm, I'm connecting to a relational database. In this case, I'm actually using the new Spaceport database provided by Tabular Editor as part of their Learn platform. I'll showcase that later, but you actually get a lot of cool stuff such as projectiles, plasma laser shields, so it's kind of a fun data set to play with, and you get access to this by using their learning platform. So I'll come back to that, but at least we are connecting to a relational database that does have query folding enabled. I can see my native query right now, and I would like to create a composite key between this and this. So I would normally right-click on both of these and select add column from example. And then of course you enter the sample values. So let's assume that like for row two, I would want 1000104 cockpit. I want to combine the two of those. So I'm concatenating these to create a composite key. It wasn't on this exact data set, but I had a client scenario that required this. So I would come up to this and call this composite key or something similar and click okay and let this load. Now we have a composite key, but if we look at the inserted merged column here, we'll see that view native query is errored out. Now my first thought with this is I have combined data before in Power Query into a new column and query folding still was enabled. So I'm taking a look up at the source M code right up here and I can see that it's using text combine and it also has to extract the text from the product key, but it's also automatically adding in the conversion type based off of the country that I'm currently in. So English US, like, do I actually need that? Because especially if I was to write this myself, I would have just done text dot from product key and I would not have specified a region or any kind of country code into here. So if I just go ahead and get rid of this, try to run this again. Now I'm getting the same result, but if I come back to here, I see that view native query is actually still working. And if I take a look at that source code into here, we can see that it is doing the conversion in SQL. So in this case, the add column from example wrote M code that does work in Power Query, but it didn't actually fold back. So it wasn't as smart as it could have been as far as being able to create the right formula that will fold. So if anything, this should give you an opportunity to pause. And whenever you see the add column from examples, know that it is not writing the optimal or most efficient code every single time you use it. It will give you the results, but that may or may not fold. So sometimes it will benefit you from checking the folding and also seeing maybe if you can tweak it if it actually breaks it before immediately kicking that can down the road. But with that being said, I also want to say that query folding is very useful. You want it to be as far down your list. Sometimes you will have something that will break in your applied steps, but as long as you can keep that momentum going with the query folding, you will have more efficient queries. But I also want to wrap up this video and also come back to the screen and just again show you this new data set that's available for Tabular Editor Learn because it's a great data set to learn how to use Tabular Editor as well. So this website with the link available in the description is something that is a free course that leverages the Tabular Editor 3 tool to be able to explore and learn about the product, but also while leveraging this really cool space data set that was built by Kurt Bueller over at Data Goblins. 
I'm connecting to it because I wanted a new data set to play around with for a lot of my demos. And I think space data is really fun versus just your standard adventure works. So that's why I'm leveraging it. But I also want to encourage you, if you are interested in learning more about Tabular Editor 3 and want a fun data set to play with, this is going to be a great resource for you. So check that down in the description. But otherwise, I hope I got you thinking a little bit about ways to actually look at query folding, keep a close eye on some of those from example type functions that are available as commands in Power Query, and know that it doesn't always write the optimal folding necessary M code that can go back to the system. So sometimes poking around with it does help you to maintain that folding. But otherwise, feel free to drop a comment in the description. Any other suggestion for future videos, check out some of our related content on the right. And always don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. It helps my channel grow. And I will see you all in my next video.